Hi guys, be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I want to show you the testimony of Matt Botsford about his near-death experience, as it is a very authentic and significant testimony. This video is, so to speak, a decoupling of a longer video that deals with near-death experiences in general. I show you the link to the video here and I really recommend watching this video too because it contains important information about how to assess a near-death experience. That is, what it means when a person sees either light or darkness in his near-death experience. Because a positive near-death experience with feelings of peace, joy and love does not mean that the experiences after the final death must be positive as well as shown in the video. We talk about a near-death experience when a person dies and then comes back to life. People then report that they have left their own body and were able to see their body from the outside. Also they report on various events that can roughly be divided into two categories. One group sees bright light and some also see a tunnel with the light at the end. Some also walk through the tunnel and see deceased relatives at the other end. Sometimes they see dead friends or angelic beings who tell them that they have to go back to earth because it is not yet their time. The other group sees no light but darkness and in part also fire and terrible creatures. Some feel enormous heat. The experiences of the first category are related to well-being, feelings of love, peace and joy. Those of the second category with the exact opposite, namely feelings of fear, loneliness and agony. So let's come then to Matthew Botsford's testimony and what he experienced during his death. Matthew is in the second group of those who have had a negative near-death experience because he saw darkness and he saw fire and experienced agony. What he saw during death is what he describes as hell and what he experienced was unimaginable horror. This is a summary of his testimony as given in various interviews. In this picture here, this is Matthew and his wife. He also wrote a book about his near-death experience. It is entitled A Day in Hell. Before his near-death experience, Matthew was a kind of atheist, as many are today. He had a nebulous notion of God, a higher power, so to speak, no real faith, and he didn't care about what God may expect of him. Rather, he was solely concerned with his own things, things that he enjoyed. But then it happened. In 1992, Matt died as a result of a gunshot wound in the head, and he was reanimated again later. The bullet struck him as he and his two friends left the restaurant, just as some people fired weapons at the restaurant's entrance. The attackers had recently been expelled from the restaurant and didn't want to stand for it. So they went to their car, got some weapons and opened the fire on the restaurant a short time later. Matthew died on the spot. After being dead for several minutes, paramedics could revive him. Matthew has almost no memory of the crime, but he remembers all the more exactly the events that he experienced while he was dead. Matthew described these experiences later in interviews after a long time of recovery. He said I felt a strong heat in my head and then everything went black. The next thing I saw was that I was crucified, hanging over a deep abyss. I could not free myself. The crucifixion was a direct mocking of what Jesus did for us. I saw smoke rising up from the abyss above which I was hanging and I heard all these terrible screams. I want to tell everybody that hell is real. What I experienced was absolutely real. I knew I was completely alone and isolated. There is nothing comparable to what I experienced there. One is completely powerless and it is a state of upper hopelessness. I was surrounded by the pure evil. It was like getting into a liquid bath of pure evil. Evil surrounds you completely and there is no way out. As I looked down into the abyss, I saw the magma boiling beneath my feet and the smoke rising up to me and I saw four-legged creatures running around. It was extremely hot, and there were demonic creatures all around me. They looked terrible. It was very dark, pitch black, 
Only by the glow of the magma could I see something. I was completely naked. The lava flowed together under me until my feet got covered by it. I saw my feet burn in the lava, and I could smell the scorched smell. The agony was unbearable. But after my feet were burned and gone, they were restored suddenly, and the torment started over again. It's a never-ending cycle of torture and torment. I didn't know the name of Jesus and never prayed, therefore I didn't call the name of the Lord. Suddenly I saw a group of these terrible creatures approaching me. At first I only saw eyes, and I heard them mocking me. They knew things of mine that I had done, such as watch unclean videos. Then they began to eat me alive. They had very long claws. They ripped the meat off my bones and ate it. The pain was unbearable, but I did not die. After a short while, the flesh was back on my body, and they started over to eat the flesh from my bones again. It was an unimaginable horror. No, I screamed just like the other people, and I could not stand it. In all this time in hell, which seemed eternal to me, I had neither thoughts about my past nor about the future. The only thing I knew was that I was out of time, and that existence in this horror is forever and ever. I suddenly realized that I was trapped in eternal torment and torture, and I could not escape from it. I was paralyzed with fear. I didn't even wonder why I was there. Then suddenly I saw a hand reaching into the darkness from the outside, as if a hand were reaching through a curtain. The hand was huge and moved in my direction. Something in me told me that this was a good thing. And then I heard a voice. I have never heard such a voice before. It sounded like thunder, lightning, rushing huge water, all in one. I heard that voice speak. It is not your time. At that moment, I left the awful place, and all evil was gone. My sense of being trapped and tortured forever was gone. It was the hand and voice of God, of the Lord Jesus Christ, who saved me from this terrible place. I woke up in a hospital room and saw my brother and wife. But what I saw was absolutely real. When we die, there are only two possible places for us to spend eternity, heaven or hell. I have experienced hell, and I want to warn everyone, don't go there. This place is not made for man. Do everything possible to avoid this place. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, our only Savior from eternal damnation and hellfire. God bless you.